All right, uh, greetings, welcome to Pinball Help. Here I am at the Texas Pinball Festival, and I'm talking to... Jerry Stellenberg. And Jerry, what do you do? I'm an electrical engineer. I do logic chip design. And you've got probably what I think is one of the coolest projects in all of pinball. And uh, maybe you'll show us what it is here. This is your little platform here. Yeah, sure. So I I sell the P-Rock board, which is a board that lets you write custom rules for pinball machines. And it also lets you build custom pinball machines. So what we've done is we've built a machine, one with all of the cool ideas we had, but also to demonstrate how to use our boards and, and what they can do. Now, and this P-Rock, it's, it's a set of controller cards. This is it over here, right? That's right. set of controller cards, and it uses a PC to drive it. That's correct. And then it interfaces with the wiring harness of either a traditional game or a custom game? That's correct. Yep, okay. so the P-Rock interfaces between a pinball machine and a computer. So you can write rules on your computer using whatever language you want, whatever operating system you want, whatever tools you want. And you've got a little demo here with, uh, this is the P-Rock board right there? Yes, and below that is our, is our new driver board. So these are modular driver boards. Each one of these boards drives 16 coils or motors or components. And the bottom two are actually driving full 64-bit lamp matrices. Oh, that is so cool. So you can take these boards and you can build a machine using them you don't need a back box. You can put these boards right next to the components in the machine, which is what we've done on our custom machine. Okay. So this is basically, and what's special about this? A lot is special about this, <laughs> but the concept here is we embedded an LCD monitor into the play field. And over top of the monitor, we have this ball tracking technology that we can actually track the ball wherever it goes on the monitor. And if you think about what you can do with that, once you can take the ball, you know where it is, and have it rolling over a monitor, you can interact that ball with graphics on the monitor itself. That's amazing. So if I demonstrate one of the modes for you, here's a mode like, like the game Asteroids. And we have an asteroid floating around the screen, and we're going to try to shoot it with the ball. Okay, let's see if we can get that. So every time we hit an asteroid with the ball, the asteroid disappears. And we can progress through the levels that way. And you can track not only the position of the ball, but the heading of it and its velocity? Well, yes, well, of course. Well, once we know where the ball is, at whatever resolution we're tracking it, we can measure the time between two points so we can get the velocity of it. And again, because we know what two points it's intersecting, we know the direction of it too. So we can also predict where the ball is going and make sure that, that the ball hits where we think it's going. And, what, and you do that by having an array of infrared LEDs. So you've got invisible light beams going across the play field. And I guess you, you can make them high as, high as many or as little as you want so that the resolution of the detection can be high or low. Right? That's right, yes. In fact, in the next version of this machine, we're going to tweak the resolution and make it make the resolution a lot higher so we can track the ball in smaller increments of space. That's awesome. That's really cool. And I like how you've got the uh, slingshot suspended above the, the monitor. Yeah, so if you think about it, we have a monitor there. We don't have a normal play field that you can drill a hole through to, to bring the, the mechanism for the slingshot. So we had to invent what we're calling floating slingshots. Wow, that is awesome. And you've got some other interesting uh, kind of targets and things that you've put up here? Okay, so yeah, right above the LCD we have six individual drop targets. If I go into the test mode real quick, I can show you to them. Show them to you. Individually controlled drop targets, each with RGB LEDs in them, so we can change them to any color we want. And you can actually see the smooth color gradients going on them right now. Right. Which is kind of, kind of neat. And right behind those we have a set of scoops. And they feed to, I guess, some kind of a subway that, that redirects the ball elsewhere. That's right. right. All, all the balls go back into, there's a scoop in the center, in the back center, that these two acrylic tubes come out of. So the ball can be kicked in one of two directions, out either tube to either flipper. And uh, the, the software's all written in Python, right? And That's right. it's running on Linux. Yeah, but it can run on other platforms too. That's right. Once you have a P-Rock board in your system, you can you can develop on any OS, you can develop on any language you want. We 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 created a framework called PyProc Game, which runs on Python. So this game is developed on top of that. But yeah, you can you can write in any on any OS and any programming language you want. Yeah, I've been very excited about this. Uh, and you can prototype the games virtually on Visual Pinball and stuff like that too. You could. We haven't integrated. Oh, this, this is completely specific... separate though. There is a hook for Pi Prot Game to talk to Visual Pinball, yes. This specific software that I've developed for this is not it's completely to that. proprietary. Yes, that's right. 
much, but so, you'll notice we redid everything. We redid the flashers. There's custom flashers on here. We're not using standard domes. Uh, that is really we cool. We pretty much did everything ourselves. Are there any other unusual uh, types of devices that you're, you're prototyping here? Any other unusual? As if this wasn't enough. I know. I'm just, uh, you know. I, I think you see everything we have right now. We're actually designing our own custom flippers right now. We're going to replace the flippers. We have a couple of tricks up our sleeves that I'm not going to tell you about right now, but yes, <laughs> we're uh, it's going to get even crazier. I was really looking forward to seeing this. Uh, and you've got all of these items on sale here. That's correct. And uh, if people want to go learn more, they go to pinballcontrollers.com, right? You got it. All right, well, thanks very much for your time, man. That You're was great. Right. Thank you.